feel really uncertain in the world right now, and you know, it just gives me an extra sense of security and peace of mind to know that I'm protected. When it really matters, trust ADT. ADT. We are where we protect. Justice for Bobby Charles and his mother just received a call leading her deeper into what could have happened to her son. Her son went to give me her call, but it smelled strong like bleach. And she told my son, she said, You can't smoke in the car because we bleached it. As the story unfolds, possible evidence exposes what could have happened to 15 year old Kawan Bobby Charles. A recording was released. In the recording, you hear mother of 15-year-old Charles talking to another parent of a child who is friends with the family last seen with Kawan. In the recording, the friend's mother explains what her son told her. He says the family was high on mushrooms. He did say whenever they picked up your son, him and his mother, uh -huh. and the stepdad were all tripping, they had did some mushrooms. Those ones that are poisonous or whatever, they make you trip out. In the recording, the friend also reveals what he heard about the location of Charles's body. And from what I can understand, he told my son that they found your son's body in a sugarcane field behind their house. According to family attorney Ron Haley, there is more. Haley says his team of investigators was able to locate the home of the family last seen with Charles Tuesday night. Haley says a U-Haul truck was parked in front of the home. I saw the same. Here you can see the family moving items from the home into the U-Haul truck. We have pictures of the family look like they're boxing up their things and the parent apparently trying to move. I don't want to assume what it is, but that's what it looks like from the pictures that I received this morning. says he and his team felt comfortable with releasing that audio track because stories they are hearing and investigating into all of it sound consistent and it's all matching up i also spoke to the homeowners when i went to the property today they refused to interview for now in iberia Parish, danielle johnson klfy news 10. danielle thank you continuing our coverage right now ladies and gentlemen this is lion's den with another news and commentary um this story reminds you of Emmett Till, okay? A 15-year-old named Kawan Bobby Charles has been vanished, and the police in the state of Louisiana has refused to even find his body until they found inside the creek. Now, this article comes from um, KLFY, um, it says details on what happened to Baldwin teen Quan Bobby Charles continue to unfold. News 10 Daniel Johnson spoke with the family's attorney, Ron Haley, who said newfound evidence may help answer the question. As the story unfolds, possible evidence exposes what could happen, what could have happened to 15 year old Quan Bobby Charles. In a recent release recording, you hear the mother of the teen talking to another parent who is friends with the family last seen with Kwan. The friend's mother explained what her son told her. He said the family was high on mushrooms. I'm gonna stop you right there. High on mushrooms? I never heard or see anything about being high on mushrooms at all. This is, this is really weird, y'all. But I'm gonna go ahead and continue reading this. He said he did he he did say whenever they pick up your son, him and his mother and the stepdad were all tripping on mushrooms, the one that are poisonous that they make you trip out. Also in the recording, the friend reveals what he heard about the location of Charles' body. From what I could understand, he told my son that they found your son's body in a sugarcane field behind their house. According to Haley, there is more. Haley said his team of investigators were able to locate the home of the family last seen with Charles Tuesday night. And at that at the time, Haley said a U-Haul truck was parked in front of the house. It looked like 
they're boxing up their things and the pair apparently trying to move. I don't want to assume what it is, but that's what it looks like from the pictures I received this morning. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of this article. So it seems to me, y'all, that this family is packing up or, or hiding something um, that deals with, um, you know, Kwanzaa's body. And this, uh, and again, this is remind you of what happened with Emmett Till. So you see, the, the, I mean, I saw the video and I know, I know you heard um, the audio of this, but I saw the video that they had a U-Haul truck. They saw that they pack all, they pack all the boxes into the U-Haul truck. And it seems to me they, they're ready to leave town. And this is really disturbing because it shows you how evil they are. And you know, the police didn't even want to investigate what happened to Kwan. Now, if, you, if you're underage, you know, they're supposed to at least put out a missing persons report within 24 hours. And they refused to even do it. So the family knew, and this is why I said the family knew what happened to Quan, and they want to cover it up. So it seems to me when they box stuff into the U-Haul truck, it's got to be something that something must have happened. And then they left the body into that sugar cane. You know what, you know, Quan's friend was talking about. So it took all of this to finally find out of what happened to Quan Bobby Charles. And, and the family need to be held accountable of what happened to him. Now, they say they was high on mushrooms. So if they were high on mushrooms, you know, I don't understand. I, mean, I didn't even know that mushrooms could be addictive, like a drug. I didn't understand that at all. These are so many unanswered questions on... What really happened to to Quan? And and again, the police need to be more. And I think the police knew what happened to him, but they try to cover up this crime. Now, if I were the family, I would not only sue the, the the police department there, but I would notify the FBI of what really happened to him. Because again, it sounded to me this is a major cover up. And they refuse to even they refuse to even report what happened to Quan Charles. And you and and, and again, y'all, if if a fifteen year old was missing, the police their their job was to report him as a missing person within twenty after twenty four hours. And the police there didn't even do it. So, I believe he was lynched. And I believe what happened was I believe that um, Quan Charles was lynched and put at a creek like they did with Emmett Till in the past. And they try to cover it up. But the thing is that the evidence that they found from the family attorney is the key because finally they will find out what really happened to Quan and hopefully the justice will be served in the, um, in, on behalf of the family. So I will keep you. I will. I'll keep you more information. I will keep you posted on on, on this story as more is available. But right now, um, good news that there's new evidence. Hopefully, that solved this case. But uh, I still believe that the police need to be held accountable for this. I think that the FBI need to be investigating this as well to find out what really happened to this young man. Because again, ain't no way in the world that this young man would disappear without a trace like that. And the police wouldn't even investigate of what happened to him. So y'all let me know what you think about this. Like, click, subscribe. And remember to click the notification bell for all the news and commentary. With that being said, this is Lions Den signing off. Deuces.